Hey y'all, it's the Southern Woods here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're doing French toast. No, 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 I'm not cooking it, nor am I reviewing it or ranking it. In fact, we're taking a deep dot, deepish dive into the cost of French toast. Why? Well, let me tell you why. A lot of people love French toast. It is fancy toast. Anything French makes it fancy. Fancy toast, French toast. A little cinnamon on there, boom, it's fancy, all right? Uh, I know, there's more to that. Okay, a lot of people are yelling at me already. Personally, I don't go out of my way to order French toast. It's good, but I don't love it. But a lot of people do, including my cousin Jonathan, and he hit me up the other day. He said, man, Alex, have you seen the prices of French toast recently? It is through the roof. All right, I can't afford to be ordering this anymore. It's gotten out of control. It's $15 where I'm at. I said, Jonathan, you do realize currently you're in California. All right, that, that may be the issue here. Uh, but I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt, and I'm going to analyze this, okay? Because maybe the cost of French toast is getting out of control, and I'm just not realizing it. But maybe everyone else is, and they have the same issue. First off, we got to talk about what makes French toast. A serving, two pieces of toast, two large eggs, three-fourths cup of milk, vanilla extract, one teaspoon to be exact, and a fourth teaspoon of cinnamon. Based on the proportions, this will run you about $1.30. All right, less than a buck fifty to make French toast. All right, so what are these restaurants, all right, IHOP, Denny's, all these uh, diners and restaurants nationally charging for a serving of French toast? The answer may or may not shock you. That would be $10 on average, not 15 However, that may be the, you know, the heavy side, the expensive side pushing that average up. 10 bucks, I feel like, is kind of steep, all right? Especially if it takes less than a buck 50 to make it. That's a, nearly a 7 to 10 times profit, depending on the location. Which, I feel like, is really, really good for the restaurants. I think they can get away with lowering it to 5 or 6 bucks. Customers would be happier, more willing to buy it, and there's still profit. However, I'm not a restaurant guru. I don't run a restaurant. I'm not a chef. Perhaps the overhead costs and cost to pay the employees and whatnot is just too much, let alone the economy right now, the inflation, which makes me wonder. When was the last time the national average for French toast was about $5? We have to go back a couple decades to the late 90s, early 2000s. That's when breakfast food in general was a little bit cheaper. That's when a lot of things were a little bit cheaper than how they are now. All right, so then... I was looking at this, okay, $1.30 to make it, they're charging about $10, feel like they could lower it. However, you need to buy all these things, okay? You don't just buy two slices of bread, you buy a whole loaf, all right? So let's say you didn't have all these ingredients on hand, let's say you had none of it, even at your own house and you had to buy all of it, how much would it cost you? Well, on average, $17, all right? Now, it's starting to look a little different, 17 bucks. $10 seems more reasonable until you look at how many servings you can make based on one round of all of these ingredients. Dozen eggs will get you six servings. That's the first thing you would run out of before uh, theoretically you'd have to buy something again. So six servings at $1.30, about 10 bucks. All right. Six servings for 10 bucks. They're charging 10 bucks for one serving. Six servings, they're making uh, about $50, well, excluding this, $40 in profit off of six servings of French toast, which isn't 10 times when you space it out, including the total amount of cost of the ingredients, but that is still quite the profit. So it makes you decide. It puts you in a situation, all right? If you are wanting French toast once, maybe you don't get it that often, maybe it's a treat, would it make more sense to make it yourself or go out and buy French toast at a diner or a restaurant? Well, most people probably have all the ingredients needed to make French toast. But let's say you didn't. Let's say you had half the ingredients. So you still have to pay nine, 10 bucks to go buy the ingredients and then make your French toast. Well, that's the same amount 
nearly that it would take to just go out and get it made for you all right by someone who does it often so if you're only getting french toast once in a while that ten dollars probably is still worth it for most people versus buying ingredients and making it however if you really like french toast and you're going to want it almost all week let's say all six servings six out of the seven days of the week it would make a lot more sense to just make it yourself you would save a lot more money in fact, you would save nearly 40 bucks because you'd be spending nearly 60 bucks if you went and bought it six times in one week from IHOP or Denny's or whatever. So that made me think, all right, there is a gap between the cost of making French toast and how much they're charging. Personally, I, as I said, it could shrink to five, six dollars. I think that's a good middle point. All right, let's go back to the early 2000s. But is it just French toast related? Or is it across the whole breakfast department? So next I looked up crepes, all right? Another kind of fancy, very similar in my opinion, all right? Based on the reputation. It costs even less to make crepes, all right? Uh, about a dollar and 20 cents or so, okay? So yeah, dollar 25 cents for crepes. How much are they charging the restaurants? It's more of a, a disparity, anywhere from five to twelve dollars, with the average being about nine to ten. All right, so very similar actually to French toast, less than a dollar fifty to make, close to ten bucks being charged. Probably could lower it a few bucks, and everyone would be happy. I wouldn't be making this video. All right, well, what about blueberry pancakes? All right, if you're making them from scratch, that is a lot more ingredients. But if you take a deeper dive into the proportions it actually comes out cheaper than the previous two, a dollar and 10 cents to make blueberry pancakes. How much are they charging? Average of nine to $10, just like everything else. What should it probably be? Five to six and everyone would be happy. So this problem is ongoing. Here's what I think is happening. I think, all right, the, the price or how much these breakfast menu items are worth to the average consumer has remained stable, all right? Hasn't left the early 2000s. However, for the rest of the industry and the economy, it's gotten blown, all right, nearly 100, 200%, right? Double the amount than what it was. So we are still thinking that it's worth five to six, but the industry is thinking it's worth nine to ten dollars. All right. I even looked up chicken and waffles. All right. Something, you know, there's more, there's meat involved. So surely it would be uh, different. Well, it is different. About two dollars and sixty cents to make chicken and waffles yourself. They're charging uh, about fifteen dollars on that national average for some chicken and waffles. Actually, twelve dollars if you go to a local diner or restaurant. This seems to be a little cheaper than the chains actually, which I found very interesting. So it all comes down to, I don't know. I, I don't know the answer. Well, I feel like I do. I feel like I mentioned it. If you want one of these things every once in a while, currently you might as well just go to the restaurant, all right? Pay up the, the $10 or so, enjoy it, and forget about it for another few weeks. However, if you really got that craving, that hankering for these breakfast menu items, and you're gonna want them often, then it would make a lot more sense to go and make them yourself. You're gonna save a lot more money in the long run. So I will admit there is a disparity. There is a gap, all right? Industry is making seven to 10 times profit based on, you know, less than $1.50 of what it costs to make it. And again, I know there's overhead costs, there's paying your employees and all these other things that go into it. But I think you would see a lot more customer volume, appreciation, satisfaction, if they drop the price a little bit. I think it's getting a little too steep for the average consumer that goes to Denny's or IHOP or Waffle House. So, or your mom and pop diner. I don't know. Just something to think about. Put in the comments. Do you agree? Is it getting too outrageous? 
All right, is, is the fancy toast getting too fancy in price? Or do you got that wad of cash and it don't matter to you? 10 bucks is nothing to me, man. Who knows? And put in the comments, what is your favorite breakfast food? Hit me with that like button. If you want to see more of these uh, deepish dives into whatever, some research-based videos, let me know. I could do it. Something different. Puts me to work. And if you want to see outdoor videos, food reviews, anything like that, hit that subscribe button. Join the Southern Woods community. Without further ado, y'all, Southern Woods out.